Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about all the things that I've bought or made in some instances that have really helped us on our potty training journey with my son. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ellie and I have a son who is two years and six months old and we have just gone through our second attempt at potty training and we are getting somewhere now. I have uploaded a video alongside this one which is like a video diary vlog of the week that we potty trained him. So if you want to see that and see how our week went, it's very realistic, it's very raw, I make a lot of mistakes. I have a link to that in the description box below, so just scroll down and you can watch that video as well. But this video is going to show you all the bits and bobs that I have found really, really, really useful. So let's get started. The first item I'm going to talk about is this. <laughs> well, this is just a very small part of the item I'm going to talk about. So in the week of potty training, I got out our playmat. This playmat is from made by a company called Gus and Bo. I was very kindly sent this playmat quite a while ago, um, and we use it on occasion, especially if we have young babies around to play. But when he was walking around, you know, with no pants on, I thought to myself, if only I had something down on the floor, which was really easy to wipe clean, and then I remembered I had this lovely mat. Now, this mat, as you can see, is huge when it's all built together, and it is super easy to wipe down. So whenever he did have a little accident, or, you know, something came out of his potty when he was on the potty, I would just get my anti-back wipes, give it a wipe down, and it'd be totally and utterly clean. Now I get a lot of questions about this one on my Instagram. This is probably the most valuable thing that I've done in this past week. So, as you can see, I have put a little secret weapon underneath all of my sofa cushions. These are waterproof cot bed mattress covers. So easy to come by, you probably have one in your child's cot or in their bed mattress. I have one on Leo's mattress all the time anyway. And it just occurred to me that if he has an accident on the sofa, that is going to soak through to the cushion and that is incredibly hard to clean. And as we all know, we has a real smell that likes to stick around. So I thought I'll buy four of those, one for each of my sofa cushions. I just line the inside of the sofa cushion with the waterproof cover. And then if he does have an accident, which he has had, <laughs> then it just means all I have to wash is the sofa cushion you know cover and not the actual cushion itself it makes life a lot easier it makes you less tense when they're on the sofa as well it means you don't have to put towels down and things and they don't feel like anything weird is going on because they can't even see it anyway i actually started doing this months ago because we have an elderly bulldog who doesn't hold his bladder as well as he used to so it was actually for him and then it occurred to me i need to get this on all the cushions because not only do I have a bulldog that likes to pee everywhere, I now have a toddler that likes to pee everywhere, so playing it safe. I have put a link below for the cushion covers that I have been using. I got some Silent Night ones on Amazon, and that is what I've linked below, and I found them brilliant. They wash so easy, straight in the washing machine, straight in the tumble dryer, and then back on. Okay, my next item, in our case is a DIY item, but you can buy these easily online as well. And it is a sticker chart. So this will be dependent on the child, I guess, but this worked a treat for Leo. He got it instantly and he could see the rewards and it just got him, because he had this weird fear of the potty to start with, it got him actually sitting on the potty. So basically how it works, we've obviously, we, I can't take any credit for this, Clint made a Spider-Man themed one. He just got like this on a canvas, I think, from Proper Job or B&M or something, because we wanted a Spider-Man one. And every time Leo did a wee on the potty, he would get a little sticker in the square, and then when he got to the big square, he could have a treat. So we went to Tesco and he picked a toy. He wanted this weird little plastic egg. And then he understood this completely. He got really excited as he was heading towards the big square and he has hit the big square this morning. So him and his dad, well, they're playing football at the moment, but after that, they're gonna go and get a treat. Like I said, it might not work for everyone, but for us, it just worked a charm, especially in the early days when the main goal was actually just to get him to sit on the potty. He would get a sticker just for sitting on the potty. And then it was for weeing on the potty and so on and so forth. But I think now, we're gonna take all the stickers off and we're gonna turn this into a 
to potty chart so because he's mastered the wing on the potty we don't really need this anymore but obviously pooing on the potty is a very different thing so i think we'll turn this into into a, a poo chart what has my life become so i have linked some really cool and really cheap sticker charts that i found online below if you want to click on that but like i say this is just a diy job another diy job that has worked so so well with leo is this so I wanted, as well as a sticker, I wanted him to have an instant treat that he wasn't working up to, because obviously the stickers are working up to the treat, and I know how his little brain works, and I thought, no, he needs to have something instant as well. So as well as a sticker, when he had a wee, he was also allowed to open his treat box. So I literally went to Tesco, I bought a cheap Tupperware, and I bought loads of stickers. He decorated it himself, so he like took ownership of it. And inside there are chocolate buttons because they're his favourite. So every time he does a wee, he knows that he's allowed to open this and have a button. And that works really well for him because it's, you know, instant. But again, because he's masked the whole weeing, I'm probably going to turn this into a poo treat box. God, that sounds weird. So I would highly recommend, it's inexpensive, just go and find a little Tupperware box, find some stickers, make it special, and it's just something that they can have immediately when they do something right. Now this one is really cool, I'm excited to show you this one. It is scary leaving the house when you first start potty training, but obviously you cannot stay inside forever, you have to bite the bullet eventually. We have gone on long day trips um, since we've been potty training at night, I have been putting a nappy over his pants if we're going out for a long time, just because you know he's not quite there yet but if we were going on a short car journey which we have done in pants this is a godsend so this is a waterproof car seat cover as you can see it's got the little hole for the buckle i'll show you it here now in the car as well and it fits so snugly and perfectly in the car seat i mean obviously if he's going to have an accident in the car he's going to have an accident in the car but all you will have to do is wash this rather than having to wash your entire car seat that would just be awful similar to the sofa cushion protection i guess but i just thought this was so snazzy pretty inexpensive as well i have linked it below if you just scroll down and also it can be transferred to the buggy so if you're going somewhere in the car and then you need to go in the buggy just take it out of the car seat pop it in the buggy and it's just it's just peace of mind imagine if they had an accident in the buggy i don't even know if i can take the seat off my buggy to wash it so that's just saving you a lot of hassle, just for a few quid. This is our potty. So at first we started by just using a normal potty, but I have actually put that potty away and this is now the only potty that I'm using. Now this is a travel potty. Again, I have linked it below if you just scroll down. There are loads of different animal designs. There was a cute fox. Um, there were loads. I'm struggling to remember them, but I went for the cow, obviously. Although Leo's calling it a camel potty and I don't know why. So what's amazing about this is obviously it's compact, it has a little handle, and you open it up, and there's your potty inside. It is completely watertight. So if you were out and about, and you didn't have anywhere to dispose of whatever was in your potty, you can lock it, and it is completely watertight. It's not going anywhere. So at first, he wasn't too sure about it, but after he used it once, he realised it was exactly the same as his other potty and then I just thought to myself I don't see the point in having two so we use this one in the house and then we use it out and about as well and I love it absolutely love it it was such such an investment and I've had lots of people message me to say even after their children are completely potty trained they still keep it in the car for long car journeys for obvious reasons rather than having to like as my mum said she used to keep a Tupperware box in the car for emergencies. I guess this is your posh Tupperware box. <laughs> so I highly recommend this. This is something that I'm really, really so pleased that I've bought. A similar item, although one that we haven't been able to use yet, is this. So Leo is not yet sitting on the toilet. He's really comfortable with the potty, but as I've been reassured, the toilet, it can be a very different thing for some children. Every time I try and get him to go on the toilet, he just um, sort of, gets a bit upset and says it's too big i guess it just looks so massive to him but we will get him on there eventually obviously and when we do i'm sure this will be my new best friend as well as you can see it's really small and easy to fit in your handbag you open it up
and you've got a toilet seat. If your son is anything like mine, I don't think my son is gonna be able to sit on an adult toilet seat until he's like 18. He is so small, he'd just fall through. And you know, a big toilet can be scary for children. So this is what can get around that. If you're out and about in a public toilet, rather than having to hold them over and hover them, you can just pop this on any toilet and then they can fit on. It had a pink design as well. I went for the green frog, but it had the same sort of thing in pink. And it was super, super cheap. I can't remember the exact price, but I have linked it if you just scroll down. And I just thought that is just so clever to just have in my handbag at all times. And I put it on my Instagram. So many people messaged me saying, I've got that, I can't live without it, it's such an investment. So although we're not on the toilet yet, I'm sure this will be super handy in the future. Okay, my last item, and one that I nearly forgot, and then I thought, oh my goodness, no, I couldn't have done, couldn't have done it without these, is storybooks. Particularly if your child is your firstborn and they don't have an older sibling to learn from, the potty is sort of alien to them. They've never seen anything like that before. Mummy and daddy don't wee on a potty. So I needed to get him over this weird sort of apprehension of the potty and these books were incredible for that. I bought quite a few books, but I'm just showing you these two because these are the only two that he's really, really latched onto. So this one is called On My Potty. He loves this one. It's a really, really simple book just about a baby who learns to pee on a potty, basically. And he loves the end, he does pants at the end, because at the end, mummy and daddy are really happy. And Leo always talks about that and says how happy mummy and daddy are. And when he does a wee now, he always asks me if I'm happy. And the other one is called The Potty Book for Boys. There is a girl version of this as well. He loves this one because it's the full story of how he goes to the shop and buys pants, which is what we did. I made sure I took Leo to the shop and he picked his own pants, just like in this book. And in the end, he has a wee on the potty on his own and mummy and daddy are so happy. So I've linked these two books below for you, but there are so many other potty books out there. These are just the two that Leo has enjoyed the most. And there you have it. There are my top items and tips for potty training, particularly if it's your first time. It's a scary thing to do if you've never done it before. I'm so glad that we are out of that dark, dark. I wanted to throw the towel in so many times in the first few days of potty training, I honestly did. If you wanna see what it was really like, then watch my other video that I've uploaded alongside this, which is a video diary of the past week. But I hope some of these items were helpful. If you want any of them, I've linked all of them just below for you. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Lots more videos to come, probably know more about potty training. I have said the word potty so many times this week, I just don't think I can bear to talk about it anymore. <laughs> but you know, I'll be uploading lots of other new videos, so don't forget to sub before you go, and I'll see you in my next one.